Hi everyone, press the like button, subscribe and let's get into the news. Let's get the show on the pitch. Bayer Leverkusen are only the second team in German football history to go 30 games unbeaten across all competitions. Two more games in the equal Bayern's all-time record. Mister, get used to the fact that I'm gonna fight for ownership. I have not said my last word. Kepa claimed to Carl Ancelotti. Iñaki Pena has conceded 32 goals in just 17 games, while Mark and Ter Stegen conceded 15 goals in 17 matches. The numbers has gotten worse since Ter Stegen's injury. Orlando City have reached an agreement in principle with Atalanta for the transfer of Luis Muriel for 1 million euros. FC Barcelona wants to renew the contracts of Frankie de Jong and Ronald Araujo before the summer. However, if no progress is made, the club could listen to offers for them. Borussia Dortmund right-back Thomas Meunier has arrived in Turkey to land a deal with Trabzonspor. The Hornets will terminate the contract with the footballer by mutual agreement. Sir Jim Ratcliffe wants a new Old Trafford to become a world-class venue to rival London's 90,000-capacity Wembley Stadium. Seeing the goat of soccer, Lionel Messi, grace the MLS with his greatness is a game-changer for us. His arrival not only elevates the league, but also inspires a new generation of soccer fans in our country. LeBron James noted. Marcos Alonso and Sergio Roberto are expected to leave Barcelona this summer. Coaching Barcelona one day? It's something you never know. I think first I have to grow and take the necessary steps. That's why I'm happy where I am because I don't have very high pressure, says Fabregas shared. Jordan reached the Asian Cup final for the first time in its history. In the first semi-final match of the tournament, the Shivers defeated South Korea 2-0. Chelsea head coach Mauricio Pochettino told whether he feels that the owners of the London club trust him. I don't hear nothing in other way around. I received a very good text from them. We are all together in this, and that's the most important thing. Real Betis defensive midfielder William Carvalho is under investigation in Spain for a possible case of sexual violence. Barcelona explored the possibility of playing a friendly against Inter Miami in the summer, but the American team will be busy during their competitions. Sao Paulo midfielder James Rodriguez is interested in Besiktas. Talks with the Brazilian club regarding the transfer of the 32-year-old Colombian. Barcelona intend to ink a new contract with Pau Cubarsi. His current release clause is only 10 million euros and a handful of Premier League clubs are targeting him. The players are becoming more and more professional. I would have liked to have a chef and physiotherapist just for me as a player, but it was a different time, said PSG head coach Luis Enrique. Some of Chelsea's stars signed to long-term contracts and believed to have expressed regret over the length of their deals. The project's development does not correspond to what was promised to them. Seru Gerasi's release clause will be valid again in the summer for the same amount, 17.5 million euros. After many possibilities in January and the final decision to stage Stuttgart, bids are expected to come in again in July. Premier League clubs already showing interest. Jesse Lingard is set to complete his move to South Korean club FC Seoul. Yesterday, he passed a full medical examination. Girona forward Artem Dovbik will be able to take part in the match against Real Madrid in La Liga. The Ukrainian does not have a serious injury. Isco is injured. He may miss from one and a half to two months of action. It is indicated that he has damage to the muscle of his left knee. Doctors consider the possibility of conservative treatment without surgery. Miguel Angel, the former goalkeeper of Real Madrid in Spain, has passed away at the age of 76. Savinho wanted to sign for Barcelona this summer, but the club still doesn't know the financial fair play space they will have. Manchester City made an approach now, and the player decided not to wait for Barca. Victor Osman has not traveled with the Nigeria squad ahead of their Africa Cup of Nations semi-final against South Africa due to abdominal discomfort. Foden will take over from Kevin De Bruyne and Bernardo Silva in the future. That is going to happen, Guardiola thinks. Eto'o, president of the Cameroon Football Federation, has tendered his resignation to the body's executive committee, though it got rejected and thus he is kept in office. Dani Alves has appeared in court in a case and charges of rape. The public prosecutor is seeking a nine-year jail term for him. Brentford are the only Premier League club Erling Haaland has not scored against. Inter are closing in on a verbal agreement with Piotr Zielinski to join as a free agent from July 1st. Contract almost ready, final details being sorted. Inter hoped to get documents signed this month. Jurian Timber has been included among the Arsenal squad for the Champions League knockout stage. 
Arsenal are still in negotiations to get a new deal done for English talent Amaria Cozier de Bury. Talks ongoing. Borussia Dortmund, Ajax, Anderlecht, Wolves, and Newcastle are showing interest for a free transfer in June. Oriol Romeo, Pablo Torre, or Eric Garcia could be included in a possible swap deal with Girona to sign Alex Garcia for Barcelona. Lemin Yamal is already an Adidas player. A few days ago, Lemin and Adidas recorded a video for the official announcement and it'll be released soon. Adidas offers him to be one of their main icons in the world of football. An over 35 World Cup tournament will be held this summer. The likes of Puyol, Lampard, Kaká, Ronaldinho, Rivaldo, Ozil and Cannavaro will be playing. Guys, if you're still watching us without a subscription, then it's time to fix that. Thank you! The results of yesterday's fixtures in the top leagues are in front of you. Moving on to the main news of the release. AC Milan have written a 175 million euros release clause in their contract with winger Rafael Liao. However, it is only valid for 10 days a year, from July 5th to July 15th each year until June 2028, when the agreement with the club expires. Another side can pay 175 million euros on these days and acquire the footballer. Otherwise, they have to negotiate with Rossoneri. It was reported that PSG have come to terms with the departure of Kylian Mbappe and are already looking for his replacement. Rafael Liao is among options. Barcelona president Joan Laporte and the team's sporting director Deco can't find a common ground regarding the club's next head coach. Laporte is keen on hiring a trusted, experienced manager who is capable of motivating the team, while Deco prefers a lower-ranking manager who can adapt to the situation and wants to take a step forward in his career. Hans-Dieter Flick is set to be the main candidate from the president's side, while Sergio Conceição has emerged as the choice of sporting director. Flick's advantage lies in the fact that he is unemployed, therefore Barcelona do not need to spend money to buy out the coach's contract. In addition, Flick has already started learning Spanish. Laporta also offers Thomas Tuchel, Julian Nagelsmann, and two of his dream candidates, Pep Guardiola and Jurgen Klopp for the role. The Barcelona chairman is planning to open talks with the Liverpool boss, despite the German statement that he will take at least a year's sabbatical. Earlier on, Xavi had announced his departure from Barcelona at the end of the season. Manchester United are considering to acquire players whose contracts are about to expire. Despite the fact that the Red Devils have loaded Donny van de Beek, Sancho and a number of youngsters, their financial situation still remains tense. The English club has already used that strategy when securing the services of Mason Mount and are now eyeing Joshua Kimmich, Jonathan David and Kefren Turam, whose contracts expire in 2025. Alfonso Davies' contract also expires next year, but Real Madrid are known to be the Canadian's preferred option at this point. Even if Barcelona sell Araujo for 100 million euros this summer, it will not solve the FFP problem. In order to return to the 1 to 1 FFP rule, the club must activate an economic lever, sell two thirds important players. The goal is to do it this summer. Kylian Mbappe would be getting an estimated 150 million euro signing on fee from Real Madrid if he joins this summer. Early reports suggested that the amount of such a bonus was worth 100 million euros. According to the latest info, Mbappe may notify PSG president Nasser al Halafi of his decision to join Real Madrid this week. Enzo Fernandez is now open to a Chelsea departure. His agents have begun talks with various clubs to explore potential opportunities. The Argentine regrets his move to the Blues camp and believes he was deceived over the project under construction at Stamford Bridge. Even if the pensioners agree to let Enzo out, his release clause will be valued at at least 100 million euros. Now we highly recommend that you check out a new video on our Fanatico channel, where we've gathered the most epic and creative presentations of football players. Be quick to click on the link and enjoy watching. The Football News Channel was with you. Take care and have a good day. Bye-bye.